All right, Erin, tell us about all this green stuff on your screen right there. I know, green blobs moving through, and this is going to be the case. We are featuring a lot of moisture coming our way thanks to a deep area of low pressure out in the Pacific, and we are watching that this morning, tracking those showers up over the I-5 corridor. Hey, the Rose City, our neighbors down in Oregon are getting a little bit of a break along with Vancouver, Washington, and Kelso. Most of the heaviest showers are pushing up over the high country into the Cascades, and we are getting a little storm tracker marks near Lacey and Olympia and Tacoma and Shelton and out towards the northwest Washington coast. That just indicates that there are some heavy downpours there as those showers move to the north. So we'll continue to watch those. Speaking of rain, normal for the month of October is almost four inches. And do you remember back in 2016? Yeah, that was a wet year. Very sloppy at times, over 10 inches of rain. And then back in 1987, we only had just barely over a quarter of an inch. We're just over two inches now, and we are going to continue to add to that as we push through our Saturday into Sunday because we have a couple of weather alert days coming up because of the rain and wind. So let's get you dialed in as we move through this afternoon lunchtime. Most of the showers are going to hang to the mountains of the Cascades, some on the back edge of the Olympics. The coast is finally going to get a little break, and as we move into the dinner, hour into the overnight hour. We're really seeing some of those showers let up and giving us that break overnight. But what happens when we get into Sunday, another stronger system starts to move in Sunday morning, Sunday evening, and that packs a huge punch with rain and wind. Here's lunchtime. All the color contours over here showing what's just happening. It's just deepening and pushing up over the Cascades. And then as we get into our Monday, we'll see those showers roll through too for Monday night football. Okay, because of all the showers and heavy rain coming our way, we have a coastal flood warning in effect. That goes Sunday through Tuesday. We could see some of our area rivers on the southwest Washington coast. And the coastline gets some good breaker sneaker waves push up. So it's going to be sloppy out there. Plus, we have high tide on Monday at 4.30 in the morning and 3 p.m. That does not help. Winds, another factor. Right now, we're looking at sustained winds anywhere from 3 to 13 miles an hour with gusts as we've gone over this last hour, about 33 miles an hour for the islands, 14 for Chehalis, and 24 miles an hour for Olympia. Okay, so we do have western Washington all the way from the coast inland. We have a warning to talk about Sunday through Tuesday. Winds exceeding maybe 60 miles an hour at times. A watch in effect. That is more so for the southwest Washington coast. And then an advisory inland. We could see those winds sustained up to 35 miles an hour with 50 mile an hour gusts. So I know it's a lot to talk about. We have uh, all this detailed out on our weather blog on our Fox 13 Seattle uh, online um, website and that can help you get through. I think it's going to be sloppy for Monday night football and that should be fun right for our Seahawks as we get into Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. We start to mellow out some, but we'll keep the rain and sun breaks in the forecast with temperatures in the mid to upper 50s China.